I know Jingles, I'm so excited! What is that? Okay, you guys, so today is a very big deal. That's right. Jingles is got Jingles, you're fuzzy. We'll fix you, baby. Jingles is actually going to go to the North Pole to visit some of his elf friends because things are fixing to get very busy at the North Pole, I've been told, after Thanksgiving. So, I got a couple of tickets in the mail the other day, and it's basically for a round, a round trip for both of us. For Jingles, he's actually going to stay at the North Pole for a couple of days. I think he's supposed to be home Thursday. Uh, but I'm just going to go up there. He's just going for a couple of days. I can only go for the day. So, I'm going to get to go with him there. And then, while we're there, I'm going to do a little bit of sightseeing and show you guys a little bit of the North Pole. And then, I'm going to have to leave my baby behind with him, friends, and they'll bring him home Thursday. So that is what we're doing, but um, he needs really to be changed. And so I have been dying to put these pajamas on to one of my babies all year. I've actually had these little jammies for a couple of years, but I just haven't put them on any of my babies. Well, I haven't really had a Christmas baby. And now I do. Now I've got a Christmas elf, yes. <laughs> And so, we do not go to the North Pole in your typical traveling way. Yeah, um, Sydney's a little upset. She wanted to go with Mommy, but they only sent me two tickets. So, I can't take any Cloud Kids with me. I can only take Jingles because it's basically for him. And since I'm Jingles' Mommy, I, I get to go and I get to see the North Pole. But the Cloud Kids are just going to have to stay here with Nanny, okay, baby? Nanny's going to entertain them. Plus, I think my granddaughter's going to come over and spend some time with them and play with them. And that way, they'll be entertained. But I'll be home tonight. Um, Jingles won't be home till Thursday. So, let's see. What are some of the attractions that I want to see? Well, definitely why we're there at the North Pole. I definitely, definitely, definitely want to check out Santa's Workshop. I got to check it out, you guys. I got to see Santa's Workshop. So, that is definitely something we're going to check out. And then I also heard about this magical forest that they have there that's all decked out for Christmas. And it stays like that all year round. Well, I believe it's like Christmas all year round at the North Pole. Um, but it's just certain times of years that it really gets like activity starts going. And we are almost at that point right now. Even at the North Pole, they celebrate Thanksgiving. Yes, even at the North Pole, they are celebrating Thanksgiving. And so he's going to go and um, he's having Thanksgiving a little early. They have Thanksgiving a little early because they officially have to start making the toys and, you know, all the fun stuff that we all ask Santa for. They have to start making that now. But so their Thanksgiving is actually this week. But like I said, they promised me they would have Jingles home in time for my birthday. Yes. And then he'll be home through, he'll be here throughout the Christmas holiday. Yes. Okay, Trixie, go lay down, baby. Go lay down. She says, where are you going, Mama? She says she wants to go, too. She says she wants to go, too, but she can't even go. Even doggies ain't allowed, so she's got to stay here with the cloud kids. All right, we are almost ready. He had to be dressed in his Christmas best, <laughs> which is this cute little jammy. Oh, look at him. It's a cute little jammies. It's got a little snowman on it carrying a Christmas tree. Mwah. So cute. All right. We got to brush his hair. I promised him I would comb his hair where he's not so fuzzy. And I believe the sleigh is already out there waiting on us. So like always with these adventures I tend to go on, I'm always late. Yes, I am. I'm always running late. Running late. And we are definitely running late. I had to go with my daughter this morning, and I was supposed to be back for the pickup time, and I didn't get back, so we're running a little late, but that's okay. Let's see how my little guy looks. 
Okay, let's look at you, Jingles. Oh, you look so handsome. Are you ready to go see your elf friends? Are you ready? <laughs> Yay! Mwah. Okay, guys, let's go get on the sled. Oh, my goodness. I know, Jingles, I'm so excited. What is that? Oh my goodness, Jingles, is that sleigh for us? I get to ride on a Christmas sleigh. I get to ride on a Christmas sleigh. You guys, here we are on our first sightseeing trip, and this is called the Christmas Forest. And in this forest, they do everything Christmas, and it's so magical. And while the sun feels different here, the sun feels warmer. I can see why you guys don't need jackets here. It's supposed to be cold, but well, I'm a little cold, but it does feel different. But look at this. Oh my goodness. Come on, Jesus. What's this away? Is that Santa's workshop over there? I don't know, you guys. I wonder if Santa would mind if we just popped in real quick. I, I'll just peek. We'll just peek. We're, we're not going to talk to Santa Claus. Wow. Wow. So this is where all the magic happens for Christmas, you guys. Yes, this is Santa's private workshop. Oh, we're seeing a lot. Too bad Nancy Newsby couldn't come. She could report on this. Yeah. Oh, Jingle says that Nancy Newsby is not allowed. No, I'm sorry. But wow, look, there's the naughty and nice list. Wonder if I'm on the naughty or nice. Santa Claus will never know. I gotta see if I'm on the naughty or nice. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my goodness, Jingles, I'm in the Christmas mood now. Oh wow. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing, yeah, jingle bell swing. Get it. Night. Oh, holy night. All is cold. All is bright. Round John Bird, her Oh. I see your friend's house in the distance, Jingles. Well, you guys, that was the last of our tour. They won't let me see too much of the North Pole and Santa's land, but I see Jingle's friends over there and he's all excited. So I'm gonna go drop Jingle's off, you guys. Oh, and he's gonna be gone for a couple of days, but he will be back home in a couple of days, right, baby? You won't forget about mommy, will you, and the cloud kids? He said, no, he won't. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get Jingles over there to his elf friends. And I got to get back to the house so I get to ride on the sleigh back to the house. Part of the perks of being a Christmas elf's mom. So if you guys like this video, give us that big thumbs up. And while you're down there, go ahead and subscribe. And until the next video, bye, everybody.
it's Rebecca Fox.